Okay guys, quick update with Bitcoin. I have a lot to unpack here, so please listen to everything I'm, t I'm telling you guys and just pay attention to what I'm saying. I'm going to explain what I was talking about, about um, up is bearish and down is bullish. It'll make sense. I'll show you the heat maps. I'm also going to show another chart uh, with, these, with these rings. Remember this ring? I said when you approach this ring to go long. I did say when you cross it to go short. Uh, you know, rings are, are just pivot points. Notice we hit this ring, we pushed up. As soon as we crossed it, you know, I expected it to drop, but instead the pivot was to go sideways. We've been going sideways for quite a while. I think that is going to come to an end soon. I'll show another chart with the ring that shows this. Also, uh, guys, uh, as I talked about in the last video, I said all you have to do was comment, like, and subscribe. There'd be two uh, winners, and I'm going to pick those two winners in this video for these two uh, one-ounce silver coins. Also, same thing, uh, if you leave a like, comment, subscribe on this video, in the following video, I will pick the two winners from this video. So make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll pick the winners in the um, next video from this video. But in this video, I will pick the two winners from the last video. But before we do that, guys, I've been getting a lot of emails, and apparently people are falling for these scams. I'm just going to tell you. I will never leave a comment on YouTube asking you to contact me, ever. I will not ask you to email me, to contact me through phone. I will never ask you to contact me. I, I might respond to your message if you ask a question, but I won't ask you to contact me or try to sell you something. Look, and if I do leave a comment, my since I'm a channel owner. My name will always be highlighted in gray. See right here? Softguard.com is highlighted in gray because I'm a channel owner. All my comments will look like that. This is a scammer pretending to be me. They're using my logo, but notice their name is not highlighted. There's got these two dots beside it. This is a scammer asking you to contact them so they can scam you. So first of all, I will never ask you to contact me. All right, that's the first giveaway. Secondly, there's there's their name is not highlighted. And all you have to do is click on their damn name. And if you do, and you go to the channel, you can clearly see it's a scammer. Look at the email address they have up here. Mine, mine doesn't have two Ds in it. Mine's OptiGuard 3D at Gmail. Look, theirs is OptiGuard 3DD at gmail.com. They've got eight subscribers. It's clearly a scammer. Always assume it's a scam and protect yourself and verify it's legit. If you go to my website and you click on contact, you will see my email address. Only use links I have pinned in the first comment and in the description and verify that match. Verify the email address you're using to email me is the same email address that is shown on my website. Okay guys, just make sure you don't get scanned. I, I, it's crazy I have to tell some of you guys this. I, I would think you'd use common sense. Maybe some of you just have never been, you know, seen this, but it happens on everyone's channel. I delete these scammers daily and I'm sure on this video they're going to be leaving scam comments as well. So again, just make sure you're aware that my name's highlighted in gray. I will never ask you to contact me. Assume, assume every comment is a scam, because the only time I'm going to leave a comment is asking, is responding to someone's question, or just about something they say about, you know, about Bitcoin. They won't be asking you to contact me. These are scammers. All right, so just make sure you pay attention to that. Pass it on to your friends. Let them know. Just don't get scammed, guys. Don't fall for that shit. All right, uh, in Discord, I made a post about uh, this chart. So I'm going to go through these charts, give you keys for this level. I'm going to pick those coin winners. I was talking about this uh, C1BG chart. We were breaking above this uh, yellow trend line of resistance, but we were coming up on a fifth channel line um, that we could possibly get rejected. So there'd be a point too short. You can see price drop from this point. And I'm, I said, look, guys, do not get too excited if you're short. We still have to break below 28.9K. It might be a nice scalp long entry. So I said, this would be a point you scalp along around 29K. And we push up from that point. Uh, if you do want to sign up to live charts, access to Discord, you can sign up. My link's pinned in the first comment and the description. Uh, make sure you email me to get access to Discord. So we're just going to cover a few things, guys. So this is where I was saying uh, potential short, when, potential point too short when you hit this uh, this uh, fifth channel line. And this is a point too long, and that was based on, uh, on the chart I'll have to get to in a minute. Now, your current resistance right now, uh, this is a resistance level. I would not short this, 29275 um, They're sending price up and down right now just to take people out. I would, I would wait for a better entry. I'm currently not in any entry right now. Um, I, I, I was in a second short. I took profit on my, what was a break even on my short. I did take that long that I posted in Discord, made a little money, and then got out. So I'm currently not in a position. I'm waiting for a better position. Either we drop down along 28,000, or if we push up, I want to short around potentially 31,000. 30, I'll show you the, the targets. I'll show you where I would short. But guys, if you want to sign up for Bitget, the link's pinned in the first comment description. 
Um, if you want to learn how to trade on BitGet, I have a tutorial that teaches you how to uh, add your funds to your futures account, how to set up a long, um, set up a, a short, a long, set up a stop loss, just your stop loss, how to do trigger orders. If you want to watch that video, I'll put up to, a link up to it now. Guys, if you're located in the U.S. Uh, and you, you want to find an exchange that you don't have to use a VPN or KYC, CoinCatch is a... Uh, it's an exchange created by the same people that created BitGet. It's a great platform, uh, but again, you don't have to use a VPN or KYC, so jump on this while you can. The link to sign up is pinned in the first comment and description. So let's cover this really quick. Now, in the title uh, of this video, I said that you know up is, is bearish and down is bullish. Well, it'll make sense when you see the heat maps. But, but basically, your, your current major support right now is going to be around 28,000, right? 28,000, maybe 28,100. Your current key support right now that if, if this breaks, we're headed to 28K. It's around 28,950, all right? And I'm going to show you the, the most critical resistance levels above uh, a great point too short. Uh, and if, you, if you'll notice, and we'll get back to this in a sec, but you'll see this, this white line right here. This is our macro support. This, this white line right here is our support level. Support here, kind of broke below it a bit. Support again, support again. And we're very close to that point. So around 28K would be a support level. If we go to the heat maps, all right? So this is all I wanted to be uh, uh, aware of. You can see all of this liquidity below. Now it is very possible, I know this liquidity has been here for a while, for a long while, and they have not taken it out yet. And I do not understand why, because it's it's right around 28K. If you look over here to the very right where my cursor is at, it's just above 28K. Well, that's our support level. So we could come down, they could take out all this liquidity, push price back up, but they haven't done it yet. If we get below 28K, all right, you see there's liquidity down here just above 26K. Well, if they come down and take that out, we're gonna be breaking below a critical support level, which means we'll have a lot more downside. So they can't take that out yet. So when I say up is bearish and down is bullish, what I mean is if, if they, there's a lot of liquidity above. It's not as, as much as what's below us which is just right below us. There's, but there's still a lot of liquidity above. So if they, if they push price up and take out this liquidity above first, this is bearish because it tells me that they're gonna send the price down. If they push it all the way up to around 32K to take out this liquidity, that means that, and I'm telling you guys, I believe all of this is already playing. Market makers know exactly what they're going to do. I believe the, um, all of the, the indices are pretty much topped. We'll probably go sideways for a bit. But if they push price up to take out all this liquidity, right, right up here, there's above 30k, uh, right up here at 32k. If they take that out first, there's no way in hell they're going to leave all this liquidity below. So that means if they push it up, I believe they'll send it right back down. But it will keep going down because once you break below a certain point, it's going to continue on. So I think if they push it up to take out 32k first, that will be bearish, meaning that we're looking for a major crash incoming. And I'll show you a chart that can kind of back this up. However, on the flip side, if if they take out all of this liquidity below first, right, you know, just down here to 28k, which is that support level I just showed you, which would make sense. They take this out first, then it makes more sense. Maybe maybe things have changed. And maybe it's more bullish. They take out the liquidity below and then push price up. Then you know, I guess you know these these people that like long down around 26k would be doing sitting pretty. But but that's that's how I see it. They take out 32k first. That's bearish. That means we're going to have a crash. If they take out the uh, longs below first, then that means they expect price to go up more. Because there is no way they're going to leave all this liquidity below. All right, and I don't believe they're going to leave any of this on the table. All of it will be taken out. Either see, either it's going to drop first, take out these longs, and then push up and take out these shorts, or do they push up, take out shorts first, and then take out the longs? But again, if they push it up first and then drop it, I think that's going to be super bearish, uh, probably leading into a crash. And if they come down and take out these longs first and then push it up, then maybe we're looking at some more upside. Maybe I was wrong about an impending crash. We'll have to see. But that's what I mean by you know up is bearish and down is bullish. Uh, just to give you some key support and just levels to pay attention to. So right here, you can obviously see that this has been a lot of resistance. This previously was support here and here. You see every time we get close to this point, we get rejected right around 29,500. So that's a key resistance level to pay attention to. This is also in confluence with this. You see this has been a lot of support, a lot of resistance, a lot of support and resistance. 
That's right around 29,500. I would chance to short at 29,500. I would not chance to short around 29,300, 29,250. We're just pushing back and forth, back and forth. But 29,500 looks like a great point to enter a short. If you get 29,800, that would be an ideal point to short. Uh, have confluence on multiple charts, as I showed this uh, Fib Channel line in previous two videos. You see, this has been a lot of resistance, right? A lot of support. So if we push up, and there's a moving average right here. So 29,800 looks like a lot of resistance. And then again, there's confluence with this Fib Channel line right here, depending when you make contact. Uh, but again, do pay attention to the heat maps because we we do have liquidity just above 30k so they could they could push it up wick above to take it out i do not see us going all the way 32k but that is a point to watch it would just make more sense that they would push up take out liquidity above just above 30k and then send it down just just seeing how much resistance we have around um around 29,800. we just want to have you have you for you to have those key resistance levels this is the uh, ring I was talking about. Some of you might think these rings are a joke. That's up to you. Sometimes they work just like I showed you uh, on this chart right here. Um, I was talking about this red ring. So when we approached it to go long, that played out. We pushed up. How much did we push up from when we made contact with this ring? We pushed up, what, almost 30%? Well, 27%, so that was a hell of a long, and we knew this when we approached this ring, this is a point too long. Now, it did say when we cross it to go short, I thought because we pushed up it, we crossed it, we dropped, that did not play out, we crossed it and just went sideways. So this is just one example of a ring working and then doing something different than I expected, but this chart here, this ring right here, now take note, this right here, what is this? This is the... Uh, this is the 21-week uh, moving average, all right? So that's what this blue moving average is, holding support, right? It's 21 week. Every time we hit it, we hold support. Well, at some point, either we're going to blast off, right? Go to the moon, or we're going to break the support and we're going to drop. All I'm gonna point out, you can you can come up with your own conclusion what you think is going to happen. All I can tell you is these rings are points to watch for a big move. Now, we can look at this ring here, and you can clearly see these rings influence price. All of these rings, uh, you can see this is one FIP circle. I move this, all of them move. But just look how price interacted with these, right? So first it was support resistance, right? So price would come up and reject this ring, right? Reject it again. We cross it, pushed up. This ring, we pushed up it, and then we just rode down the ring, right? This ring, the next ring, we went sideways. We crossed it. We, got, we went pretty much parabolic. This ring here was resistance. We just kind of, we went sideways and we went down. We bounced on the ring. The next ring, not much happened. You can see we just we pushed up it. As soon as we made contact with the ring, we dropped. This is just like that other ring I showed you. We, we were pushing up. As soon as we crossed the ring, like the trajectory was up. As soon as we crossed the ring, we went sideways. So all I can tell you is something's going to happen here. Uh, I think it's likely we get we we drop. I think that pretty much 32k is the top. I think that we're topped out, looking at having a lot of downside. I've already covered why in previous videos, but all I'm pointing out to you is if you're expecting a big move, and this, this chart is on, this is actually on the weekly here. So there is six days left in this candle, this weekly candle. That's gonna put us right on this damn ring. Now we could move down the ring, we could cross the ring and go down, cross the ring and go up. I think it's less likely to cross the ring and go sideways, because understand, the rings are like, they're pivot points. So if we're already going sideways, all right, I don't think we're gonna cross the ring and continue to go sideways. You can, you can see every time we hit a ring, something happens. So that means we can either just approach the ring and move down it. We could cross a ring and push up, cross a ring and drop, but something's going to happen at this ring. And keep in mind the next weekly candle will be right on that ring. So that's something to pay attention to. If you do have access to these charts, this chart is called the Bitstamp Weekly Moving Averages 300, 200, 121. So just to make you aware of that, I will keep updated on this chart. So before I get into the coin winners, guys, I just want to point out one last time 29,800 looks like a great point too short. That being said, understand that we still have liquidity just above 30K. This looks like 30,150, something like that. Keep in mind right here where my curse is at, it's about 30, 31K. So 31.5K, I, I, I don't know. I'm just letting you know there is liquidity above, but all the charts are showing your strongest distance level is around uh, 29,800. So just be aware of that. 
Okay guys, let's pick the coin winner. So this is the last video I put up. If you want to watch it, I will put a link up to that video now. I'm going to copy this um, link so we can pick the coin winner from the previous video. I'm going to paste it in. Let me verify this is uh, Bitcoin bull trap complete, huge drop in coming. Okay. All right, so let's pick the two coin winners from the previous video. And again, guys, how this works. Let's see, include replies, no, continue. Okay, so while it uh, counts the comments, uh, in order to win, I, and again, remember I said I'm never going to con I'm never going to leave a comment asking you to co to contact me. All right, on YouTube, I will not ever leave a comment asking you to contact me. How you claim your coin? So when I pick a winner, if you see your name, all you need to do is email me and to find my email address. Go to my look. You can go to my YouTube channel or the pin first comment. Make sure it says opticalartcrypto.com. Click the link. When you click on contact, you will see my email address. And look, it's opticalart3d at gmail.com. Not opticalart3dd at gmail.com, all right? Make sure you're always using the, the correct email address. But in order to, uh, to claim your coin, I need you to just <laughs> email me. Say, look, I, I'm the winner. I, I won your coin. And then I will give you um, a code, like a bunch of numbers, and I will have you go back to your comment. Do not delete your comment. That will disqualify you. Do not change your comment. All I want you to do is, is email me if you won. And then I will tell you to take a certain code that I give you and edit your comment. Add that code to the end of your comment. That will verify that that was your comment. Then I will get your shipping info and I will ship the coin out to you for free. We pay for shipping. So I'm going to pick the two coin winners right now. All right. So the first winner is Adrian F. Great video as always, man. Thanks. Okay, so Adrian F., all you have to do is email me, and then I will give you a code. You will edit your comments. So it'll say, great video as as always, man. Thanks. And at the end, you'll put have whatever number I give you that will verify it's you, and you'll get the coin. All right, the next winner is Jill Batty. All right, Jill Batty, uh, both of you, just send me an email, and I will get those coins shipped out to you. But I will need to have you verify that you are who you say you are by giving you a code put on the end of your comment. So same thing, guys. If you do want to uh, win two of these coins, all right, just like before, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment. And in the next video, I will pick the two winners from this video. If you want to sign up and get access to these charts, guys, the website is OpticalCrypto.com. That link is pinned in the first comment description. I have tutorials teaching my charting method. I have stocks, which NVIDIA, I will cover that in the next video. I think uh, when the NVIDIA chart plays out, that might actually play along with this chart here, which is very interesting. I'll, I'll cover that in the next video as well. But again, I have stocks and obviously Bitcoin and altcoin charts. Guys, again, if you want to sign up for Bigit, uh, that link is pinned in the first comment description and do watch that tutorial. I'll have a link pinned in the first comment description as well. And if you're looking for an option to trade and you do not want to um, use a VPN or have to KYC, CoinCatch is a good option for you if you're in the US. That's it, guys. Uh, trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.